Good morning everyone, this is Mary. You're watching another little piece of my art. Long time no see. Hello, I hope you all are well. Um, I haven't ma been making many videos. It is summertime and I am an outdoor person, so I haven't been inside that much, but I thought I would kind of gather up some of the things that I have been purchasing lately and give you a little show of what those things are. Um, the tripod is crooked. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully my phone won't fall, but you know, that happens a lot with me. So <laughs> ah, it is raining today and I'm holding my breath because a tornado made contact last week. So hopefully, hopefully it'll just be rain. Okay. So I don't know if you remember the video that I did, um, about what's in my bag. And I was showing you guys a 31 bag that I have, that I have. Um, it, it's kind of small. But it has the pockets going all the way around, so it's handy for coloring. Well, then I found this one. We had our community yard sale thing where, you know, everybody um, in the community, not everybody, but whoever wants to have a yard sale has it all on the same day. So we went to that, and uh, we're, we were able to find um, a few things. So I found this 31 bag. Sorry for the mess in the bottom there. I found this 31 bag. Um, it's bigger than my other one. Same print. And it just has a pocket on one side and a pocket on the other side. And it has this little flip-flop on here with a little place for you to put your name and info. So I'm thinking this is like a beach tote. Um, but I have been like carrying the things that I am working on. Uh, watercolor things that I'm working on. I've been using it to carry those around the house and outside and just drop it all in here so yeah i thought that was a, a nice uh, bigger size one to find and at one of those yard sales i did find um a bag of pencils so the bag was uh 50 cents for all of the pencils in the bag <clears throat> and uh, these are the ones i'm keeping these are oh there's a sergeant art in here but mostly these are prismos um, and then I weeded through the the ones that it was a big bag. It was a big uh, you know Ziploc bag, the bigger ones. I weeded through and took out the pencils that would be uh, something I, I didn't think I would use, and put those with my grandson's stuff. So when he comes over, he has more things to choose from to color. But did I need Christmas? No, no, I did not. But they were fifty cents. <laughs> they were all sharpened before I got my hot little hands on them and um, you know why not rescue them from wherever they're gonna end up if I don't buy them that's a really really great excuse isn't it <laughs> I'm rescuing them so there's that um, and then I found this I haven't used it or cleaned it yet so it still kind of has some sparkles on there from whatever the last person used it for this was in a dime box um, and I thought you know I don't know that I thought that when you're working on a page and you know you don't want to stop uh, what you're doing but you don't want to have the mess you know falling out of your book and tucked here and tucked there that you could use something like this and uh, store your pencils to move the whole project to another space uh, when you have to stop <clears throat> coloring or you could use it for paint brushes or I don't know whatever it is you do um, I'm not sure if I will use it, but it was in the dime box and I thought I would give it a shot if it's, if it's too big and in the way then I will probably just uh, turn around and donate it or give it away. So there is that. Also in that dime box were was these uh, six natural silk sea cosmetic sponges. So they are... Um, there's four left and you know they're not used um, I, I don't really wear uh, face makeup or whatever so I probably will use these for acrylic paint or you know something in the coloring books I'm not sure how well these will be would be for pastels because I think they're too dry sorry Annie Annie hates those noises like that squeaky noises <laughs> Uh, they're not too bad. They might work for pastels as well to blend them out. We shall see. 
but I rescued those too. <laughs> uh, okay, so then um, at the same day, I found this 31 bag. <laughs> I got the other one first, and this one is so big that I can't fit it in frame. Um, but this one is a wide open type of tote. I have cleaned this one. It's a big, big mama. So I could probably fit pretty much like all the things that I use on a regular basis in this tote, along with whatever book I'm working on. And it has the pocket here, the pocket here, the side net type pockets. And then the same, uh, no, three pockets along the front here. So you could separate your pencils in one and your, and your um, fine liners in another or your gel pens or whatever it is that you, that you use. So yeah, I've, I've been lucky out with the 31 bags. My husband now recognizes this print and when I see it, he, when he sees it, he's like, isn't that one of those bags you like? <laughs> okay. Oh, <clears throat> yes. At the same community sales I was able to find a four pack of Faber-Castell um, uh, fine liners um, these are in black so you go from the extra small nib to the medium nib these were a dollar but you know well worth a dollar I think they're about ten dollars on Amazon something like that so I did pick up those now I know you guys are probably getting sick and tired of hearing me talking about my watercolor paint set um, but that's all, all I've been using really uh, recently with my arm being the way it is. It's just easier to watercolor and then add some details later on with um, <clears throat> pencil. Um, but if you if you can see, there there is a lot of dark colors here. And, um, <clears throat> well, here's how they look on the paper. There's neons. But, like, there's nothing, it just seemed to be missing some of the shades that I was wanting to use. So I was looking around on AliExpress, and I came across these. Now, these are listed as Rubens watercolors, as in Paul Rubens. Um, but you notice there is no nothing on this tin that's, you know, his logo. Um, so... I went ahead and bought them anyway. Um, this is a smaller set, and you know you could pop this in a bag and, and go. Um, and this is what they look like. They are like very summery, candy-colored colors. And here is the swatches. So you can see you get a, a, a pretty good range here in the blue-green family, and then you have some nicer colors here as well some nicer lighter colors here as well you only get the one yellow but that's okay because I have uh, plenty of whoops fans going I have plenty of yellow in the other ones now like I said these are marketed as Rubens when I got them they're you know I tried them and they worked great they were excellent um, but it didn't say uh, anything on the tin so I contacted this seller and I said you know are you sure that these are Rubens watercolors because there's nothing on the tin. They told me that they uh, purchase the they purchase I forget what these are called in the little squares here. You know me and my remembering problem. So they purchased these the pans. There it is. <laughs> purchased the pans. I guess in bulk or whatever, and they package them themselves. So take that for, you know, what you will, um, as far as the authenticity is, is concerned. Um, I think that they're a very nice quality of watercolor, almost gouache, um, to me. They, they, they definitely, you have to, they're very concentrated. Let's put it that way. You know, you want to use a lot of water if you want a light color. So, but I'm happy with the purchase, happy to have them, and I have been using these two sets pretty much um, exclusively since the last time we spoke. I have worked in the Carnival Escape book. I'm sorry, Annie. Worked in this book because um, it's easy. It's easy for me to 
to knock out a picture uh, using watercolor in like one night. Um, and then I have to, you know, go back later and add my, uh, my details. Um, so let's see here. I have done this one. This is a combination of both of these two sets here. So I think they're very vivid and, um, I have really, I have no complaints, um, with these at all. I've, I've really enjoyed doing my artwork this way, uh, to relieve the pain, you know, that I've been having since February. I have done her as well, and I will need to come back in. I will take my, uh, Colors of the World pencils, and I will come back in and add, you know, shading and, and different things. And I'll probably come in and maybe use some stickles on the wings here because what's nice about this book other than the fact that it is, it is truly a watercolor book and the paper is so thick is you know that you don't have the image on the back so you can you can put you know um, little gems on here if you want to or stickles or any dimensional kind of thing and uh, you don't really have to to worry about ruining the other side so, um, yeah, oh, I, I just realized I didn't do the background. I think it was because I wanted to test what pastels would be like on this paper. It's very toothy. I don't know if you'll be able to see it if I bring it up close, but you can almost, you can see like the ridges and stuff in the paper. And I don't know how, um, pastels are going to behave on there. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, and then I finally did a page, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it, but I finally did a page in Spirit Animals because, um, <laughs> well, if, if you're in North America, I don't know in, in your area if it's as bad, but we are, we are the cicada haven around here. Like they're everywhere. <laughs> and, um, we were in Ollie's and I kept hearing a chirping sound. And I thought I was walking past something that was like a toy or something that was motion censored. No, there was one in my hair, which my husband spotted. And then, of course, I screamed and was flapping around like a crazy person. It was a, it was a really good time. <laughs> so I did her. Um, I couldn't, I could not uh, do as much as I would like to have done with her face because of, you know, just it's too much pain on my hand. But I did what I what I could do, and um, I like how she turned out. There is, uh, there you can see it now, um, glossy accents on her eyepiece and her, uh, this brooch in the center here and somewhere else on here. I used some gel pens as well uh, for the chains and things, and... Um, yeah, mostly watercolor and just, you know, using some pencils to fill in. Um, <laughs> I named this pe this picture Locust Feathers because uh, I was outside one day and I was pointing out to one of the grandsons the um, wings that fell off a locust. I mean, a, a cicada. And my brain could not say cicada wing. It said Locust Feather. I know. Well, my husband thought that was hilarious, and so now it's a thing, locust feathers. So, yeah, there, there, there is, you know, the closest that I, I could get it to look like, you know, a um, cicada, but there it is. And um, it's just some little personal notes on uh, how 17 years ago was and how it is now. And, gosh, by the next time they come around, I don't even know if I'll be alive. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, so that's, that is that. Um, now for some of these really bright pieces on her, I have been using, um, because this paper is great and you can do whatever you want pretty much. I have been using my R2 roller by ink rollerball pens. Um, I have all of the colors except for I did not have this one. So now we're going to move into the Dollar Tree's purchases, pretty much. Um, so I did find this darker blue. I have orange, uh, magenta, dark green, mint green, red, 
purple and then I found these so I don't know if these are old or new but I had never seen this this color of blue before and I wanted to have a set of these so now I have one um, and then I also found these you guys may have had these for quite some time but um, they were new to my store so this is the the ink brand of brush markers and I have not I've, as you can tell even taken them out of the package yet I don't know if this is the entire color range because as you can see there's no like dark blue or anything like that so I'm not sure if there's two packs three packs but this is what my store had so um, I decided to snap them up because even if I don't like the way they color I will still be able to use them you know in journals and things like that so we have those also as a side note Dollar Tree has makeup palooza right now I've been buying Maybelline makeup L'Oreal makeup um, they have a lot of makeup so if you're in the market for makeup you might want to check okay um, I also found in my Dollar Tree Crayola take note felt tip pens and they did have all of the of the well I guess not because there's no yellow this is what we had we had three three different kinds so here you have your dark blue and your light blue uh, you have red and pink and you have purple and green so no yellow which is a bummer but I was glad to find what I could find and you know we'll see how these work if they're worth it or not worth it but I do, I do like the take note uh, line quite quite a bit and I have been able to find a few things from them at Ollie's um, over time so and then the last thing I got was some rub-ons I have been more into rub-ons than stickers for my coloring books lately because the rub-ons will be absolutely flat uh, you won't have any kind of even if you have a flat sticker and it's not dimensional there's still going to be that little ridge from where it's stuck to the paper and if your coloring book paper is thin um, then when you go to color on the other side and you you know when you make your pencil uh, markings you you'll, you might be able to see that line so I, I've been into the rub-ons and um, I found this one here so all you do is when you find the one that you want you just cut it out peel off the front paper turn it over onto your page rub on the back and then you'll lift up the uh, paper that it's contacted to contacted on 